Greetings everyone, this is Spin, and today I'm going to do something different. I'm going to play Blood Wash, a game that I've been meaning to try out some time. I like the premise of it, and I figured it looked interesting, I've heard people talk about it, I decided, you know what, I'm going to purchase this, and I'm going to give it a shot. This is my first time playing through it, so without further delay, let's go ahead and hit the play button. Let's start Blood Washing. Whoa. What a day. Professor Watt was his usual miserable self and that test was a killer. Hopefully I can just relax and... Of course, Liam didn't do the laundry or clean. I'll have to do a load of laundry. I have an interview for a job tomorrow and have nothing to wear. Well, sounds like you're in a predicament, Sarah. I'll gather these clothes up and head to the laundry room in the basement. I'm going to have to talk to Liam later. I'm too upset and tired to go through it again. He's going to have to pull it together for this baby. Well, Sarah is expecting. We're not going to leave the apartment just yet. I still haven't had time to unpack yet. Not sure when I will. Well, Lisa, you got a baby on the way. And sounds like your boyfriend is dead beat. All right, well, at least the fridge is stocked. All right. Okay, so he's in the bathroom getting over his hangover. So he's a drunkard, drunk bloke, as they say. Okay, so I guess we'll get going. Oh, we need to get all the dirty clothes. One. Two, three, four, that should be all of it, I think. Oh, five. Okay, off to the basement. Newspaper. The headline reads, Womb Ripper Strikes Again. In the early hours of the 30th, authorities were called when a passerby found a terribly mangled corpse haphazardly tossed on the nearby grounds. Sources indicate that the woman was indeed pregnant, and just like previous victims, the fetus was cut out and assumed to be taken by the assailant. Ooh, pretty brutal if you ask me. This is now the fourth victim in as many weeks, and authorities are struggling to come up with leads in one of the most gruesome crime speeds this city has ever endured. Well, that sounds bad. Very bad. Fire extinguisher. Wait, what'd you say? I'm surprised they take any safe precautions in this death trap. Considering that the walls and the graffiti, this place is a dump. This is where they keep the lodger mat. I don't know about you, but if I was in a apartment complex and the basement made sounds like this, yeah, I'd probably move out in an instant. Holy smokes. Washer out of order. Yeah. Well, I guess we have to... We'll figure something out, Sarah. Oh no. Jesus Christ! Hello there. God damn girl, you scared the bejesus out of me! You scared the bejesus out of me too, Joe. I scared you? You scared me! I literally, that's what I said, Sarah. What the hell are you doing creeping around down here? Look, I'm sorry for scaring you. I'll tell you, but can you keep this to yourself? Jesus Christ, Joe, you're insane. Yeah, I can. What's up? Uh, the missus kicked me out and it's too cold outside, so I'm trying to wait her out down here. I really didn't mean to creep on you. Honest. I believe you. Just next time, maybe don't go around slinging doors open and hiding in the dark. Yeah, please. Please do, man. Please, Lord, please do. I will. Thanks, kid. 
Say, if you want to use the washing machine, it's uh, broken. You think I haven't figured that out already? Yeah, thanks. I figured that out. <laughs> Sarah and I think alike. Okay. Sorry again for scaring you, kiddo. It's okay. Well, now what? I guess we have to get going now. I see someone. Hello there, Stan. What's up, Sarah? Oh, you know, trying to balance life, school, and job hunting. It's a tough world these days. Liam been treating you well. When he isn't drunk, yeah. Look, you'll tell me if it gets bad, yeah? I know it ain't easy to talk about, and you don't have to tell me nothing. Just promise me you'll tell me if you need help. My sister used to be in a bad situation too, and there's places you can go. I appreciate that, Stan. I really do. Yeah, sure. You doing some laundry at this time of night? I'm trying to. Of course, when I really need it, the washer downstairs is broken. Ain't that some shit. Yeah. And speaking of shit, I have an interview tomorrow, so I guess I'll show up smelling like crap. Well, if it's an emergency, I heard of this laundromat that's open 24-7, just outside of town. Still early enough to catch the last bus. I have to say, though, it's a hell of a time to be out so late. Especially with that maniac roaming around. I'm a big girl, Stan. Do you know the address? Sure, sure. Let me write it down for you. Just promise me you'll take care, I. Yep, better pack it up and go, Sarah. <laughs> Hope so, too. Let's get going. A nice departing word, Stan? Hurry, and you might be able to catch the next bus. Thanks again, Stan. Aye, aye, Captain. Let's hop to it. This is the lobby. Good lord, man. Hi there. Are you okay? Can I get you anything? It's gone. They, they, they took it. Took what? Did someone steal something from you? They took it. The people in the walls. They, they took it from me. Oh God! She's here now! I should probably leave him alone. Poor guy. She's in the walls. She's in the goddamn walls! <laughs> Oof. I'm sure it's a bit refreshing being in a place that's, you know, not a dump. Even if it is the night. There's the bus stop. What's down here? Got any change? Sure, I have a couple dollars. Better than nothing. Thanks, kid. Haven't seen you around here before. I moved in not too long ago. I'm usually studying or at my classes, so that's probably why. Oh, a college girl, huh? What are you studying? I'm pursuing a career in education at the moment. Nice. That's what I got my bachelor's in. What happened to you, buddy? Oh, that's great. I hope I can find a gig soon afterwards. If not, my sleeping bag has room for two. Well, I guess I can insert a joke about how the sorry state of the job market. Oh well. Bachelor's degree and outside. That's really sad. All right, off to the laundromat. Hello, fine sir. Where are you heading at this hour, if you don't mind me asking? The laundromat on the outside of town? Not sure I believe that. Pretty late to be doing laundry. Hey, if you're looking to score, I have a good deal just for a pretty little thing like you. You won't even have to pay cash if you know what I mean. Oh boy, don't tell me. How about you just drive the bus and I'll pretend you're not a desperate loser? Yeah, how about you do that instead, please? Whatever, bitch. Sit the fuck down so I can get this piece of junk rolling again. Rude. Wow, lots of dirty seats, and there's only one. Oh. Hmm. 
Now that is disgusting. All right, let's sit in the only clean seat. What's he so happy about? Oh. Plus the window's so dirty too. Okay. Uh, hello? Hello. Yes, hello. May I sit beside you? Uh, no. There's plenty of other seats, so I don't see why you would need to do that. Maybe he's looking for a clean seat too. May I... May I sit beside you? No means no, bitch. Are you deaf? Do I need to get the driver to throw you off? I don't know, he ain't nice himself either, but maybe we should. You're going to die tonight. What? You're going to die tonight. I've seen it. Tonight is your last night on Earth. Come again. You are walking straight into your doom. Can't you see that? You and that child inside you. How did you... You will be found just like all the others. Ripped open, your insides displayed for all the angels above to look down and see. Oh yes, of that I am certain. Please, just stop talking. Yeah, please do. I'd rather not. May I sit beside you? No means no. All right, miss. This is your stop. Oh, thank God. Warning's unheeded. All right, made our destination to the laundromat after a very less than ideal travel buddy. Man, it's, there's so much litter. Quite the sound cue to make, even though there's nothing to be jump scared by. There's the launcher map, but you know me, I gotta do some exploring. What's this? Peepals. Laundry first, what's behind? Hmm. Press tab to equip and unequip your inventory on sometimes can be brought to other people to get more information. Well, this seems to be a comic book. Well, that's pretty cool. But I'm gonna... For the sake of the video... Well, that's not it. For the sake of the video, I'll just make it easy. Piece of paper, 0451. That's a code. Better remember that. 0451. Alright, so let me put the comic book up. Yeah, you can get collect comic books. That's pretty cool. I'll read those in my own time. What's down here? Another one. Sin Eater 1. Okay. Alright, found the first and second issues for this comic series. Same old bad news. Yeah, the Womb Ripper. This used to be a laundromat too. Ooh. What's in the mail? Let's go to the laundromat. Hello, fine sir. Yes, what is it? Oh, um... Are you all really open all night? We're open all night, but I take my naps at midnight, so you better not need anything after that. Okay. Oh, okay. I'll be sure not to need anything. Yeah, we'll see. 
Yeah, we'll see. Game toy. Yes, sir, you're gonna need this. Actually, let's see what game. Pork Seas Revenge. Press left mouse button to start the game, right bus to finish it. Basic, pretty neat, but it'll provide some endless entertainment for Sarah. It's some kind of savage beast. It's some. Small things. Yeah, I love me some TV. Just like the old days. Actually, you know me. This wall looks different from the others. Oddly specific place to put a change machine. Okay, oh, found Urban Legends. Well, here's somebody. Doing a late night wash too? Yeah, I work night shift at the factory down the road. This place is the only one open when I get off work. Was a real pain when the first one burnt down. First uh. one? You knew around here? Yeah, this place used to be next door years ago. But there was a big fire. I don't that sounds awful. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Girl died in that fire too. An employee. I don't like to spread rumors, but... But what? Pretty mysterious. The way she died, I mean. It wasn't a fire that started quickly. She should have had plenty of time to get out. But she was found in the office. I heard they were close to opening up a murder investigation. That a detective thought the girl was locked in. But then decided to drop it when nobody came up. You know, cops. Lazy sons of bitches. Well, if that's true, it does sound pretty suspect. Sure does. Feels like it got swept under the rug pretty quick, what with the womb ripper coming around and butchering those women. That has all the headlines these days. That seems to be the hot stuff, the hot topic. Alright, we pretty much had our fun, so let's... Okay. Let's just go ahead and get going. Laundry goes in. Alright, I guess that's the best thing we can do is just take a look around. I don't know why the bathrooms would be locked. Hello? Somebody goofing around, I guess. Okay, let's go. Yeah, what the hell was that? Yeah, we already have enough soda at the house. We don't need any. Weird had to have a magazine. How to tell if your child is a Satanist? Do they experience mood swings? Do they not experience emotions? Do they listen to aggressive music? Do they play board games? If you answered yes to any of these questions, Satanism might have infiltrated your home, and you are in danger of being sacrificed in hell. Please call 555 not today. Strange Dog, hello, people. Can I help you? Looking for anything specific? A movie? A video game? Fish? Um, no, just browsing, thanks. 
Alright, well, let me know if you need any help. And don't you even think about stealing anything. I have eyes everywhere. Wouldn't dream of it. You have quite an assortment of things. What kind of store is this again? It's Peepaw's. I'm Peepaw. It's my store. Right. His name is Peepaw, and this is his store. That's all you need to know. This Ouija board has been used for evil. Although it's in a very less than ideal hiding spot. Lots of horror movies. I'm definitely in heaven. Yes, yeah, seems like Sarah is the horror movie expert here. Or enthusiast. Yeah, this is like a heaven for a horror enthusiast. VHS display. Nothing to be on the lookout for. Barf. <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. Video games. Eyes wide open. Not enough handhelds. What the hell? Ah, uh, cool. Shadows and circles. More games. The Master System is out now, but this is still my favorite. That's a Nintendo NES. And a Game Boy. Adult XXS. I'll be the judge of that. Alright, I already saw you, but yeah, jump scare me anyway. Gotcha. Uh, so you're not stealing anything? No. Ahem, <clears throat> my apologies. Jesus, people. You must really be paranoid. I think I've seen pretty much all I want on in here, so... I'll go to the pizza place across the... not too far. Or the... not the pizza place, the plant store. There was a pizza area. Or something. More comics. Wheezy manager. Ah, a customer. Looking for a TV? Toaster? Blender? Uh, sorry, I'm just browsing. Oh, what kind of person just browses appliance stores at this time of night? I don't know, you tell me. I'm just waiting on my laundry. Well then, why don't you just buy a washer and dry here? We have the newest models at the lowest prices. What makes sense to purchase a new laundry and dryer for the hotel? The junky hotel that I stay at. No offense, but I feel like you're the newest thing in the store. Ha, got him. Why, thank you. <laughs> I do take pride in my appearances. At least you took it well. Alright, that's the appliances. There's the pizza place. Sin Eater 3. Sorry, didn't see you there. Can I get you anything? No thanks. I'm just killing time until my laundry next door is done. Well, you're out late. Uh, just a heads up, we're closing soon. Feel free to hang out until then, though. Yeah, at least he's a pretty chill guy. Oh, right, let me try this. What's the point of this? Okay. The laundry should be uh, finishing up soon. Wait a minute. I 
I guess I could start asking around then. Okay. Yeah, sad day. Used to do my laundry there, and let me tell you, it was a lot better than this shithole. Had this real hot chick working there too. Shame she got pregnant. Had real potential to be a passenger on the D train, if you know what I mean. Well, sounds like we've got an origin story beyond our on our hands right here. What the? That wasn't there before. Let's just go ahead and grab our laundry. All right, let's get it dried out. Uh, I had someone bring the bell, but no one's here. Okay, there's the bathroom free. The bathroom key. God, I can't speak. Now we can go into the bathrooms. Wow, that was all the comic books. Damn, that's a loud, loud air dryer. 867-5309. Must be one of those phone sex hotline sort of deals. Yeah, a little too late for that. Someone's got a little delivery on the way. Let's take a peek in the boys' room. Uh. Okay then. Yeah. I'll just move along then. Uh... That wasn't there before. Yeah, uh... Hello? Yeah, I don't need to say anything, just... Twelve minutes and two seconds left? Okay. Sir? I think we have a problem here. I guess I'll just have to wait till the laundry's done. Jesus, that's taking a long time. I guess I'll try my hand at the darn arcade game. I still don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do. You're supposed to hit the cops. I take damage from doing that, but what am I supposed to do? Oh, I see. Hit the space bar to get the... Oh, okay. Oh my god, that is hilarious. Snakes? Okay. God, now that was funny. Also, I'm not sure if you noticed this, but I saw this thingy hanging out. Roll, roll, roll. What, what the? You look just like her. Who? Same eyes. Same hair. Oh, she used to be so beautiful. But I've lost her. It's been so long now, and I can't find her. Oh, did you know one of the girls who went missing around here? Ma'am? I guess she's done talking. Well, way to ruin my punchline, ma'am. Let's check up on Peepaw. So I'm not even going to do the punchline since I was practicing. Woman interrupted. Can I help you? A movie? Uh, 
Uh, all right, all right. It's right. Okay. We should... Our, dry, st our laundry should be dried by now. Everything's fine on Peepaw's side. Is it still going? Six minutes and 23. Jesus Christ, that is the longest it's ever been. Wait a minute. If it's in there, what about the men's restroom? Was Kennedy. Oh, how did I miss that? God damn. So I just spent a whole. Alright, let's just go and discover. Just ignore that. Hello, sir? I don't know how you got that, but yeah, I knew Lewis. He owned the old laundromat that burnt down. We were buds, but he disappeared one day. It's the aliens, I tell ya. Lewis is looking down on us poor schmucks right now from the cosmos. The aliens, you say? Hmm. Well, let's ask everyone else then. I'm sure that old creep, uh, creepy lady has something to say about it. If I find her again. People? Old Lewis was a real son of a bitch. Had a real eye for the younger girls he did. Don't mean to gossip, but I have it on good authority. He was the one who knocked up that poor girl who worked for him. The girl died in the laundromat? Can't remember her name, but between that scandal, the fire, and then the disappearances, I would say all the details will never be known. That's pretty grim. All right. Okay, old lady had effed off, so I guess I got the pizza shop and the appliance store. Still open. Lewis Kennedy? Nope, never heard of him. All right. Don't know who that is. But he sounds like a real asshole to me. Alright. Two people don't really like him. Well, three people don't like Lewis. And one guy who was his bud. Well, since there's not going to be anything going on the, the next few... Guess I'll play Porksy's Revenge. Thirty-eight seconds left. We're finally at the final stretch, everybody. Finally. What the hell? Yeah, we need to find our guy. That's not right. All right. What the? Is that? Is that blood? Last chance to look at me, Hector. What happened to him? Oh my god! It's the employee! He's been ripped to shreds! I need to call the police! Yeah, I do. This might come in handy later. Yeah, we're gonna need this. Let me just swap it out. Man, I hate having to swap between all the comic books, and the news reports, and the head. 911, what's your emergency? Hello? My name is Sarah. You need to send someone now. I'm at the- <phone rings> Shit! Well, that is just wonderful. <phone rings> Dispatch said they got a call coming from out here. But it's strange. I can't seem to be able to find anyone. Well, 
Blind store and pizza place is shut down. Guess we'll head on into the laundromat. Wait a minute. Is that someone crying? It sounds like it's coming from that office by the pizza place. Well, let's take a look then. All right. Hello? Is anyone there? This is the police. If anyone is there, then come out now. There's something wrong here. I better investigate thoroughly. Hmm. Okay. Nothing here. Schedule request doesn't look suspicious to me. Seems fine. Expense reports. Nothing important. Nope, that's too much work there. Nope. Very well, Hydra. Good to know, buddy. File cabinet. Okay. So far, so good. Everything looks normal, but what's with the cry in? Nothing here. This seems like a, your usual run of the mill office building. Ah, uh, you've been eating lunch. Well, that's one case solved, but that's not the pressing matter at the mo at the moment. Okay, this key, this door sp What the hell? Hello? What the fuck was that? Holy Jesus. Was it holding a child? An underdeveloped child, that's for sure. One that, oh, there's the key. One that was not... It still needs some development in the oven. Okay, let's get to that office building. Okay. Alright. This could get dangerous. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh boy, this could be bad. Oh my god, am I glad to see you! You gotta help me! There's some crazy person running around with a knife! Slow down. It's okay. Just follow me, and I'll get you out of here. Now let's get out of here. <laughs> Shit. There has to be another way out of here. Well, that's just real nice. Real nice. Someone dies in front of me in gruesome fashion, and then I'm locked up. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with the vents. Well, someone is determined to murder me. Just keep moving.
I guess you won't be making a run for it, Sarah. Okay. Well, I guess there goes all our backup. Well, we got the Womb Ripper in the building, y'all. Oh, if you've got to be kidding me. Now that is just wonderful. Just wonderful. The power breaks, the cradle will fall, and down will come. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I got you. What am I supposed to have? I remember now. What the? Okay, it fell over. But we could probably bash that wall open and get out. Okay, okay. For the record, I didn't. It's like you're getting jump scared by the environment for crying out loud. The headline reads Main Suspect in Police Investigation Disappears. 45 year old Lewis Kennedy has gone missing. The top suspect in the grisly crime of an arson and alleged kidnapping slash murder of a young woman has eluded authorities. Sources say that Kennedy had been under surveillance for a few weeks and at some time over the course of last night had broken contact with officers and has not been seen since. Authorities issued a warning for all residents in the area to be on the lookout for this potentially dangerous individual. Okay. Go where the light is. Oh god. This is grim. So this is the Womb Ripper's lair, I presume. Flashlight. I want to budge, bro. Oh, there's one. Those are faces. All right. Oh. That's psychopath. It kills women like me. I've heard at least three others brought here and killed. Mask out of skin. Skin from the poor infants whose mothers were just slaughtered. I don't know what kind of game is one to play, but I think my time is almost up. I made me swallow a key. Oh, this is a key detail right here. Oh my god, that is brutal. I'm gonna need this to pry out that. Yep, I know where the key is now. Oh boy, here we go. Ugh, grizzly. Oh my god. 
God. It's... a corpse. It looks like it's been here for years. There's a wallet sticking out of his pocket. What? The driver's license belongs to Lewis Kennedy. But this doesn't make any sense. I need to get out of here and call the police. Yeah, let's do it a second time once we get out of here. Oh. God damn. Find the child. Oh boy, this could get real snuff. I saw that. Alright, we found the officer's pistol. So I need to find the child. Got the ammunition. Loaded and locked. Alright, shut the lock off. Come out, you asshole! I'm ready for you! Oh, them some fighting words. Well, I guess I scared it off then. need to find my escape. God damn. <sighs> Jesus. Makes sense now. Lewis Kennedy wasn't killing all those women. It was Samantha. After Lewis locked her in the laundromat and burned it down, she survived. She must have lost her baby, though. With almost being killed, losing her child, and being terribly burned, she completely snapped. She killed Lewis, and then set her sights on killing others who had something she didn't. Oh, God. Whew, well, that was probably, that was an adrenaline rush right there, fellas. Alright, well that was a very unique experience. I mean, it had a really good set, uh, set up, I really enjoyed the VHS setting. Voice acting was pretty solid too. Yeah, that's quite the disturbing story based off those B-movies, those video nasties you would see that, that are like in the restricted area of a store tucked away somewhere where you wouldn't see him. But yeah, it was a very, very nice short experience. 
and you only get to do one combat scenario. We have to fight the womb ripper, the womb ripper herself. So yeah, I pretty much enjoyed this for what it was. I can't wait to play more from the Torture Star. Oh, here's something. They just released Sniper Killer. Actually, yesterday. All right. Well, I was pretty upset to be woken up so late for an impromptu autopsy. Yeah, I would be too. But when they told me that it was the actual womb ripper, well, I got down here as soon as I could. Yeah, who wouldn't? This is a story for the ages right here. They can't believe that it turned out to be Samantha Rhodes, who'd gone missing and was presumed dead years ago. All right, let's get down to business. Police report, cause of death, multiple gunshot wounds. That's the official cause of death. But Jesus Christ, I don't even understand how she was alive in the first place. Let alone how it took so many shots to bring her down. Most of those look fatal on first glimpse to me. Guess we'll dig in and find out more. Alright, let's begin. Some chunky sound effects. What the hell, the power went out. Of course. Yeah, don't you go anywhere. Okay. This is setting up to be something very bad. Alright, lights are back on. She's gone. It's not over. All right, well that's Blood Wash, everybody. It's like first time playing it, first run through of the game. It was a pretty solid experience, I would say, for a very short game. Like, atmosphere is amazing. I like the premise. It's very B-movie-esque. I recommend... I'm definitely going to try out some of Torture Star's other games, that's for sure. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope I'll see you in the next one. See you.